December 19, 2018, this is Take the Pizza on Mike Sticks. Why are we call this Take the Pizza? Uh, you don't know, it doesn't matter. I don't have time to explain if you never watched one of these before anyway. Because I have 30 seconds to actually uh, maybe say something kind of funny. Because right now, I know you're already looking at the side. And you're already scrolling looking for a better video. And there's about 50 billion more better videos out there. Because this is basically what I do. I sit here and talk. Who wants to listen to see, see somebody talk? See, I have a blank screen. Why? Because, I don't know, last week I did a video and it got 10 views. So, why be on camera? One person told me, you know, you should do a video every week. And I'm like, I don't have enough shirts for that. Because somebody would be like, you wore that shirt last Monday. Yeah, well, today's Wednesday. And uh, uh, laundry day is Sunday. So, that's... Uh, that's the way it is, you know, you're, you're, who has 365 shirts? I don't have 365 shirts. How many shirts do you have? Comment on the bottom and tell me, actually it doesn't matter, I don't need any comments. Just get me some views. If you don't like the show, uh, tell somebody and see if they like it. If They probably won't like it either. So then at least I get two views now. Because uh, why waste time for 10 views? You know, maybe because I took two months off or something, I don't know. But anyway, let's get, you're already clicking onto another video, I know that. So anyway, I'll just go to the normal stuff now. Where, what is this show about? I don't know, I make fun of the news. You know, I'm a sports handicapper here in Las Vegas. So you know, I go over, you know, I went 14 and 5 last week. This week I'm 2 and 2. So that's the difference. You want to you bet sports? One week you have a good week. Next week you might go 500. Or you might be a little under 500. So 2 and 2, and I got two games today. So, hopefully those two win. I didn't put any straight money on them before because I got the app. I could do live betting. So, I could just wait for the game and, you know, gauge the first 10 minutes of the game, see what I think's going to win, and then put the bet in. So, that's how it is with the app. That's only here in Vegas. Maybe Jersey has it. You know, 50 states. Gambling should be legal. You earned their money. You could do whatever the fuck you want with it. Who's the government telling you, ah, we can't gamble? Yeah. People have been gambling for years, you know. They also said that, you know, alcohol was illegal. And uh, that didn't last too long. People were like, fuck that. I want to drink, I'm going to drink. So, a guy had a hot dog cart. Went up in flames on 6th Avenue and 45th Street in New York City. One person was burned. Good thing nobody was inside the hot dog cart. Because, you know, then, you know, if there could have been... You know, 12 people could have burned in one of these hot dog carts. About five, six years ago, I was going to buy a hot dog cart. And they wanted to, uh, it was used. Used for $2,000. The problem is I was going to, I had to get the cart. Then I got to tow it with my, with my SUV. And then I got to go find a place. You know, of course, you get a license and all that for like $100 or something. So I got to go to like some place where there's going to be some foot traffic. You know, so probably, you know, how about on the Strip, the Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropicana, to stand there in the middle with a hot dog cart. I don't know if they'll let you do that, but where else are you going to get traffic? So, uh, the only problem is you got to stand. So then I was like, well, maybe I'll get the hot dog cart, and I'll put it in front of my house, and I'll put a sign on it, and have it say, you know, help yourself, put the money under the doormat. You know, because then I could just sit home. You know, I put like a camera, one of those doorbell cameras out there so I can watch my uh, hot dog cart, make sure nobody's stealing any napkins, and then, you know, that'd be a good business. So I was looking in, uh, I was looking in for a new, that was a used one for 2000 I found, I found a new one for like 3500 So, uh, you know, maybe I'll do that. You know, because the Federal Reserve, you know, they just put the, they just put in the, the fourth time they raise the interest rates so if you're in sales you know if you're selling houses and you're selling cars pretty much the Federal Reserve said fuck you they don't want no one buying cars and they want no one buying houses so if you're in the auto industry in the housing market uh, the Federal Reserve doesn't like you I wonder if you work for the Federal Reserve you have to pay taxes you know because they you know they just print the money you know, this is, it's not even not even a government company. It's just uh, it's a company that says federal, so everybody thinks it's a government thing. But yeah, look into this. You know, 
I, I was looking at the demographics of my videos the past uh, 28 days. It's uh, 25 to 34 is my popular demographic. Probably because all the racing videos, but 99.9% .9 is male. So, uh, look into the Federal Reserve. Learn something. Knowledge is power. The more, the more knowledge you know, the more power you got. The more power you have, the more money you make. That's the way it is. Anyway, so they told, they told me, I talked to an expert on vlogs. I call this thing a podcast, but it's really a vlog. And they're like, you should never go over well four minutes because nobody's going to watch that long. You know, I do. I was doing 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, like a podcast. Some podcasts are two, two hours, three hours. I, don't, I can't even sit through that. You know, maybe, uh, maybe some people, if you're stuck in the airport, you'll listen to something that's, you know, two, three hours. But, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it at that. That was, the, that was my comedy right there about the, about the hot dog cart right there. You know, so I went uh, 14 and 5 in hockey last week, and this week I'm 2 and 2. So hopefully I win two games today, and uh, I'll be 4 and 2 and have a good week. Because right now, this week is that. Uh, it could go good, it could go bad. Right now it's in the middle. But that's not how you want to make money. You want to make money, you got to win. That's what it's all about. You want to win. And today you got two hockey games, in case you're uh, one of my. Uh, Sports people here in Vegas. You got Pittsburgh and Washington. That game's going either way. And Montreal is playing Colorado. Colorado's the sleeper team. I've been I've been hitting them on since the beginning of the season. Colorado's a sleeper team, but now all of a sudden everybody knows they're not a sleeper team anymore. The one in the front rubbers. They're they're on the they're on the bubble right now. For the playoffs, but you know the season's not even halfway. Ten, ten more games to halfway. You got an 82 game season, so uh, I'm looking to take probably Colorado, but I'm gonna do in game betting. So you know, I'm, you know, hopefully Montreal gets the first goal, and then I could get you know Colorado a plus a goal and a half or something, and then we'll see what's going on after the first 10 minutes of the Pittsburgh Washington game. I'll decide who I'm gonna put my money on. You know, with Ovechkin, you know, with Pittsburgh taking a lot of penalties, Ovechkin's going to get, you know, at least a power play goal. So I'm leaning towards Cal the Capitals right now and Colorado, which are favorites right now. But like I said, hopefully Montreal gets that first goal and I could sneak in, grab the Colorado Avalanche at plus a goal and a half. That's what you got to think of. You got to see, you got to predict what, what could happen and then capitalize on it. Speaking of the Capitals, that's how I'm ending the show, capitalizing on that. Mike Stiggs, I'm out.